Thank you for checking out this auto drill video. This video is going to show you how to change a spline drive on a Series 2000 auto drill. First thing we'll start with is the tools that you will need for the changeover. You will need a snap ring, a snap ring remover to take off the retaining snap ring on the drive spline. You will need the Allen key to remove the set screws on the pulley. You will need pry bars in order to get the pulley and the spline drive out, as well as your new spline drive. And optional but uh, suggested is some type of a vibratite um, uh, liquid, which will keep the bearings tight in their internal bore. So the first thing that we're going to do is remove this spline drive from an existing auto drill. This is set up, of course, as an example, but uh, we'll show you how to do this. First thing I do is loosen the set screws on the pulley. This should allow you to remove the pulley from the auto drill. Of course, you'll already be at this step. You'll have loosened the motor, removed the slack, or uh, made slack in the drive belt, and removed the belt. So the motor does not have to be removed, just the cover and the belt. The next step is to remove the snap ring that holds the drive bushing in. I don't know if you can get a close up of this snap ring in here. Will that show? It helps to have a snap ring plier that holds on to the snap ring. There it goes. So you remove this snap ring, you'll put that aside because of course you'll use that again. With any luck, your spline will come out by hand. This one happens to be tight. Next step is to take your pry bar and using the key or using the pulley set up slightly higher, gently nudge the spline out of the bore. And you'll see this is sliding up already. pulls right off the back. You retrieve your new spline drive, put the Viper tight on the inside. If yours is loose, of course this one will go back in tight, so we're not going to bother. Slide that down. If you have something like this, you can tap it down so that it goes down into the bore. Uh, I'm just going to get a quick tool that we use to push down the bearing. Okay, that's now seated all the way down. You should have a nice tight match between the spline and the spline drive. You'll take your snap ring. Of course, you'll reinstall the snap ring. And without boring you with further steps, you'll reinstall your pulley, put your belt back on, fix the tension, and tighten everything up. If you have any questions, please contact us. We'll be glad to walk you through the steps. Our phone number is 800-871-5022 or internationally 01-908-542. 0244. Thank you very much.